This is the EB60 beveler. It's the light and convenient solution for adding bevels and deburring on all types of metals. It's fully compatible with European Union CE, CB, and EMC standards. It's a much better solution for adding bevels than using a grinder. It's many times faster, more precise, more consistent, and doesn't induce heat into the workpiece. It's excellent for beveling straight edges, following curved shapes, beveling pipes, performing inside bevels on holes, and countersinking holes, 30 millimeters and above, all in one pass. The impeller and the support deck define the beveling depth, so there's no chance of gouging the workpiece. In addition to the main handle, there are both a side handle and an auxiliary handle for gripping in different situations. It has a robust 1100 watt motor with soft start and variable speed. It has a standard lock-on switch. The speed adjusts by the thumb wheel from 3000 to 6000 RPM to meet the needs of various materials. It has tool-free bevel height adjustment with a micrometer type scale. Just loosen the two thumb knobs and turn the support deck to adjust. The dial ring is adjustable for zeroing in. It comes standard with a 45 degree three insert tool holder and impeller. We also have a 30 degree tool holder optionally available. It uses standard indexable square carbide inserts so there are four cutting faces on each insert. When one face is worn, it can be turned to the next unworn face. The 45 degree tool holder can also mount radius inserts for creating an outside radius. The radius is excellent for any workpiece that needs to be painted or coated since paint sticks much better to a radius edge. We have available R2.5, R3.5, and R4.0 radii. To convert to radius milling, simply change the inserts and switch to the special radius impeller. They are clearly marked. The machine comes standard with the 45 degree tool holder complete with three inserts and impeller, a hook spanner wrench and spindle lock bar for changing the tool holder, and a T15 Torx wrench for removing the inserts. It all fits in the dedicated carry case. To work on the tool holder, loosen the two thumb knobs then unscrew and remove the support deck. To change or index the inserts, use the T15 Torx wrench. To remove the tool holder, turn the spindle until the spindle lock bar engages. If you need to change the impeller, loosen the nut before you remove the tool holder. Use the hook spanner wrench to loosen and remove the tool holder. Thread on the tool holder and tighten with the hook spanner wrench. Remove the spindle lock bar and replace the support deck and adjust the beveling height. To zero in the scale, use a straight edge and carefully turn the support deck until it just touches the insert. Check the dial scale to ensure that it reads zero. If it doesn't, loosen the set screw and turn the dial scale. Refer to the micrometer scale and turn the support deck to the desired beveling height. When using radius inserts, the bevel height needs to be adjusted so that the radius cutting face is just flush with the support deck. Use a straight edge and turn until it just touches 